All right. Breaking news, Skit. Let's go. Slim Shady is back. All right, now I'm about to show you something. What? Right, now breaking what? news, and it turns on This Week in Music. Detroit rapper Eminem, in a stunning move, has released an album in which he is actually trying to cancel himself. Man, what now, right fuck? now at this hour, we've got protesters lining the streets downtown where Kimberly Gill is standing by. KG. Hi, Devin. We are outside Eminem's Mom's Spaghetti, where, as you can see behind me, these people are definitely upset with Eminem's new album. They're yeah, actually they're calling to boycott the rapper for songs that include insensitive comments. That's his actual restaurant, Mom's Spaghetti? Yeah. yeah. He started Mom a restaurant. The in the, already, in Mom's Spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> That's he literally played on that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. love that. People are definitely upset over Eminem's new album and are actually calling to boycott the rapper for songs that include insensitive comments about little people, people with mental disabilities, transgender rights, and the First Amendment. Said in the First Amendment. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Guilty Conscious too. Whoo! The Guilty wow. Consciousness was... That first oh, yeah, one, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is Dre in it too? That's what I was gonna say. It's like, where's Dre at? Idiots, Dr. Dre's dead. He's locked in my basement. Probably go back and forth. That's where he arrives. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Well, we did it now. I know, right? It's beautiful, ain't it? Yeah, you happy now, bitch? Yup. All right, you got what you wanted. Yeah, but let me go. Suck. Never. Why does it feel like I'm always being tortured? The bad apple spoils the whole orchard. Used to read comic books to learn more words. Cause deep down I'm a dork, just the core nerd. Meaning nerd to the core, till I'm cornered. Then I'm the coroner. What shot is this? First, second, it's your third. Vision is more blurred, speech is more slurred. Can't even form words. It's like a dream up inside of a dream. I'm trapped in this worse than I could have imagined. It's madness. Can't wake up, try my damnness. But old habits are coming back. And now transgenders attack us frontwards and backwards. They laughing, throw midgets at us. The same a dream now, huh? See what I mean now? You see how? They're trying to make me out to be some kind of mean style, obscene style prick. I kick one freestyle Damn. by beating down a special meat child, and these people freak out. Right. Told you we get smarter, and retarded. Aw, oh, Marshall's getting a conscience. Fuck this you. may come as a shock, I have you astonished regardless. Here's the thing about retarded people. What? They don't fucking know they're retarded. Well, okay, God. you want a fat yeah. shitty bitch who can play that game? What? Yo, this man is ruthless, yo. He's out of control, bro. And I love how he control. just blames it all on Slim Shady, yo. <laughs> like, even from the skit, everything is like Slim Shady. It's not Eminem. Eminem is trying to save you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like this one already. Yeah. I, I, already he touched to, touched to me because literally he started off like saying, like, I used to just read comic books, right? Because deep down I'm just a the nerd, core. right? The, the apple orchard. I'm a bad apple. Uh, mm. I'll burn down the whole orchard. Right? Like, yeah, fire. that was fire. But fire. yeah, like that comic line was like, I thought that was dope. Yeah, I used to read comic books, right? To, to learn, learn more words. words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He killed that. <laughs> yeah, he did with the core and everything. He just slaughtered that right off the rip. Yeah, right. Off. Yeah. Just, fuck this may come as a shock. I have you astonished. Regardless, here's the thing about retarded people. What? They don't fucking know they're retarded. Well, okay, you want a fat shame, bitch, too, can play that game. What? You want to judge people? Yeah. Matter of fact, thank you the same one who hated bullies calling you bad names. Yep. Then you turn around and did the exact same. So just immature and literally you're still mentally 13 and so thirsty for some controversy. You're still picking on Christopher Reeves. Yeah, but you're me and we're a team. So that means we ain't cahoots. That's conspiracy to commit murder. Lyrically, so clearly, you're the accessory, like jewelry. You ain't the judge of the jury, you're just as guilty. You rip on paraplegics, man, seriously? <laughs> oh, bitch, it's a joke. No, it's not, it's embarrassing. Why? Like David Carradine found with a pair of jeans at his ankles and belt around his hair and inks. I know, scary scene, they're coming with everything. Little people are trolling me, uh, they're saying they've had it well, up to here with me. Oh, hilarity. Come on. Nah, do your thing. Fuck death, people. Yeah. yeah. Well, between me and you, I think they've had it come to here with me, too. What the fuck? Oh. Sorry I'm not perfect as you, Marshall. Whoa. Punching down on little people? Yeah. Nah, cool, but You just sound like a dick. Wait. Nah, fool. What? When I say fuck midgets, I mean Ja Rule. Oh. 
deported in 2004. Let's go. Let's go. Are you sure he ain't as pretty? He ain't holding on to the 50s on nonsense? Oh, man. He's only doing that because of 50. Yeah, let's go. Well, no, I think I think he doesn't like Ja Rule, too, because he did mention Haley, right? Yeah, but the thing is, um, I think 50 is more petty just because, like, even – um. I watched his interview with Eminem and when he when he prank called LL Cool J and then LL was like, Yeah, we should do I want to make music with you. I've been a big fan. Da, 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 da. He's like, and plus you ain't got no beef for 50. <laughs> so by him saying that, it's just by loyalty. It's not he's not yeah. being petty because he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it because of loyalty. Like 50 yeah. don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, gangster yeah. as fuck. Yeah, he's like the fat he's the fat Joe in the group, right? Because like fat yeah. Joe, like fat Joe were with everybody. It doesn't matter if you didn't like him and all of that. He he was really close with Jaru. He he held with that. He had a yeah. whole beef with Fifty for no reason, right? Yeah. Just because he was so loyal to Jaru. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, he right. got attacked on, on piggy bank, but yeah, yeah. He definitely held it down all the way till the very end. Well, he yo, attacked but, him because of that New York song. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. But yo, you know what's wild though? I love that he's like talking to Slim, like Eminem is talking to Slim. And they're yeah. going back and forth having a conversation, but saying some outlandish shit. And you can't really tell who's saying who what, you know? You can only, like, know the Slim because he's so, like, uh, so direct. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah, this is a crazy, crazy song. And then to hit Ja Rule right <laughs> right yeah. up there. Because the whole oh. time I was like, yo, man, you taking it too far, y'all. <laughs> when I mean midgets, I mean Ja Rule, right? <laughs> yeah, that was Fire, the crazy thing too about this is like i agree with because eminem had a post where he literally said like you got to listen to the album from start to finish right you can't skip mm-hmm. any tracks and jump around because the way he written it was in order of like how you need to listen to it mm-hmm. and it makes sense now especially for this song because literally he's talking to like like what you just said he was doing the back and forth with eminem and uh slim shady right and when he's having that conversation he's literally talking about the songs that already have previous songs you, keep, you yeah. keep bringing up christopher yeah. reeves right you keep yeah. talking about midgets you keep talking about caitlin jenner like you keep bringing up all these things and it's all from the past songs if we didn't listen to the past song we would if we just heard this song first we would yeah. have no idea what he's talking about we'd be like yeah. what, what does yeah. it mean yeah right? makes sense yeah so i i agree with him like i think he did right like he he wrote it like this on purpose you have to listen to it in order yeah 100 percent Whew, guilty conscious too. Let's go. Can you hear with me too? What the fuck? Sorry, I'm not perfect as you, Marshall. Punching down on little people. Yeah. Not cool, but you just sound like a dick. Wait, nah, fool. What? When I say fuck midgets, I mean Ja Rule. Oh. And I know that Chris Reeves song was recorded in 2004 for Encore. Yeah. Fuck you take it off for, cause he died. <laughs> Man, that motherfucker did that bullshit on purpose to ruin the song for us. Man, Man I never <laughs> seen that <laughs> no, That was a combo earlier, bro. That oh, was my God. God. <laughs> Yo. Did that on purpose to ruin the song for us. <laughs> Yo. Yo, he hairy macking us through this whole reaction. Oh, it's crazy. shit. Yeah, he's bringing back all the shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's he had it for encore, but he had to take it off. So he yeah. put it in here. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> for because he died man that motherfucker did that bullshit on purpose to ruin the song for us man, man i never seen a bigger pussy than you bitch look at all the shit the media's putting me through because of all the fuck shit that you pushed me to do me should have knew when i found you you were just too good to be true that's how we end up in these quagmires you said you had my back liar but i helped you get your stacks higher yeah. that's diamond sales like sapphires rap buyers admires taglines of admirers now they say you lack ire that's why your satire backfires yeah. flat tires no longer that guy you were prior to this yeah and not scare you cuz I'm who you used to be who the you who didn't crumble under the scrutiny what? when it was you and me yeah I gave you power to use me as an excuse to be evil I know you created me to say everything you didn't have the balls to say yep. what you were thinking but in a more diabolic way you fed me pills in a bottle of alcohol a day okay made me too strong for you and lost control of me you're right I took over you totally you were socially awkward till you molded me yeah you was a loner or no but because of me, you didn't take shit from nobody. <laughs> now look at you, what? Now you're just a punk, Man. little scary cat. Word. Got to shut like Shakira's ass. Yeah. So look at your <laughs> reflection staring back, bitch. Uh-huh. It's just a mere relax. Man, you're so full of shit. 
you need Miralax Open your mouth and shit flies out Just lies, you thinking you can whip my ass Undo these zip ties You can just undo my feet and keep my hands tied Cause like an avalanche I'd still win by a landslide Oh, you think so, bitch? Yeah, I know so Okay, your hands and feet, I let them both go Yeah, so now give me that gun No, don't Real naked choco Let me go, yo Here, take it, bozo Yeah, we are bait you homo Ready? Don't shoot Here we go, bro No, no Now say you're sorry How? You dick with me, any How? of it I'm sorry, Marshall's a pussy He's Dre and Jimmy's puppet what? Sorry, he's a fuck But since he doesn't Die, you piece of shit That does it Uh-oh Yeah Wait. Bitch, this is for him what? Christopher MGK Nickin' for Limp Biscuit and them Midgets and Ben Man, please Zeno in addition to him Will Smith and the cannabis If you're listening and this is the end. Okay, okay, so I'm Jamal and Ja rule into all my feuds, including my. What? I'm welcoming you to my. No, no. That's hurrah. I bid you goodbye. Come on, man. Don't Murder, do this suicide, kill shot. Booyah, cock, cock, sucker. Who the grass, motherfucker? Uh. Huh. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, you heard that shit? He's rocking my baby. Mm -hmm. That's from Mockingbird, right? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Paul, you're not gonna fucking believe this, bro. I had this dream, it was fucking crazy. It was like the old me came back on the new me and took over my brain and had me saying all this fucked up shit about little people and Caitlyn Jenner and PC <laughs> police were chasing me and fucking Gen Z was trying to kill me and quadriplegics and Christopher Reeves and I was saying all this fucked up shit and I couldn't stop saying it. And then I'd wake up and it was like I was still dreaming. Fuck you. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking funny. Yo, what was insane about that is like not not only did it bring our conversations, but like the back and forth. It seemed like they were falling. They brought cannabis in there, benzino. And it's so cool because it's like guilty conscience of everything you have done until this point in this album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, put, he put all his feuds in there, right? And I yeah. love that he was playing on like you just uh I'm just uh Marshall's you know, vagina, right? And then he's saying yeah. he's Dre and, and Jimmy's puppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he goes into literally talking about all the beasts he's ever had, right? MGK, Christopher Reeds, Nick yeah. Cannon, right? Limp Biscuit, right? Yeah. And then he even brought, yeah, Will Smith and Cannabis, right? This is, if you're listening, this is for you, right? He's like giving a <laughs> shout out to them. This is the end. All right, well, I'm going to kill him for you. That was that's, crazy. That's, that's great. That's good. I, yeah, I just, I love so all the songs before uh, Guilty Conscious, too. It's so perfect. What what a what a sequence that was because it it's crazy because like the whole time he was going through the album I kept thinking like yo how crazy is he yo even the beginning you know but like uh with the special ed children and like everything he was doing I'm just like yo you're pushing it too far bro but like it all made sense at the end when Slim was arguing with Eminem you know that was yeah. so official bro yo there will never be another yo. This what do you guys crazy. think about the, that the call that he had with Paul at the end when he was saying that he thought this was a dream, and then yeah. Paul just said "f you," so like because he actually did it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he, is he like playing on like the fact that like he actually was dreaming, or like this was real? No, like, I think. I, what do you mean that you're dreaming, bro? You did release the I told you not to do it. <laughs> I think Paul is done with his trolling. He's like, "Fuck you, am." <laughs> yeah. The you know what I mean? Calling me this plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, like, even, yeah, even in Houdini, right? Like, literally that voicemail in the beginning of it. He's like, "I heard the album." He's like, "I," he's like, "I'm done. I'm done with you." He's like, "Don't." He's like, he's like "I don't want. I don't want to have any part in this." Right? <laughs> Oh, my oh God, that shit's funny. Yo, he's funny. Yeah. Yo, this album's funny so far. <laughs> this... Yo, this one, this one is a masterpiece. Yo, I am, I am beyond impressed. And I didn't know like how I would be impressed with as much as Eminem has done through the years. Like, I, I'm just, I can't believe he over impressed me once, <laughs> once more. Yo, it's, it's, it's so crazy, bro. Like, this is a crazy. Yo, nobody can replicate nothing close to this, yo. This nah. shit is like genius, genius, beyond genius. Yeah. Whew. I feel like he's been sitting on this for a long time, right? I feel like these are like he's been listening to what everybody's been saying for years and years, right? Like they we missed the old shady. Like he's been he's been kind of teasing it a little bit, but then he's finally like, you know what? I'm actually just gonna like play on to everything that everybody's been saying. Everybody yeah. wants Slim Shady back, and then the people that want me to kill Slim Shady because he's so mm -hmm. like controversial and all that, I'm gonna put it all in one album. And give you yeah. guys both things. I'm gonna kill the guy that you guys all like the people that hate him, 
and I'm going to kill him for you guys. And then all the people that loved him, right, and loved the craziness, I'm going to give it to you one last time so you can actually yeah. hear how crazy he can really get in today's modern age, right? And and the, the coolest part about the guilty conscience, too, the brilliance of it is the fact that anything you would have said listening to the album so far, he touched base with. Mm -hmm. he, he gave you like everything you know what i mean like all the combos that we had like it's crazy how he harry mack and us right now yo it's like he's it's breaking down wild. his own his own album yeah right? like it's making wild yo like you don't even we don't even he doesn't even need us yeah he's like yeah i'll break down my own album exactly. in, in third person right i'm gonna break the fourth wall here i'm gonna deadpool myself that was so fire yeah i man. like this song was fiery. i, I definitely like the guilty conscious too I yeah. uh, like that he's because I'm thinking it's gonna be with Dre, but not nah, it's just Marshall and some shady battling at each yeah. other. That was yeah. wild. Which is 